our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. Introducing the challenger, Iron Michael Chandler. And now, introducing the champion, fighting. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Both fighters back to their feet now. What a punch. And they separate. That right hand hurt him a little bit. He blocks the punch. Beautiful. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight. And there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Three minutes. Takedown defense holds up. Nice kick there by Nurmagomedov. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. 27 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Let me see that hook now. 
Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Close guard. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Lands with the right hand. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Let your hands go. Let well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of, better him than me. And a nice job at least staying up for... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Inside leg kick now. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. And they separate. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses with the straight right. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Wow, he actually got the takedown. Lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Nurmagomedov. 
Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. Yeah, Habib Nurmagomedov is not only a wrestler, he's a full-on mixed martial artist now, and it showed in that exchange. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's Nurmagomedov gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. All right, working out of side control here, his opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Let's go, get him off you, get him Man, off. the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Punch over the top. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of... The record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's back up again. You got to like that. Just missing on that uppercut offering. right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Good stick. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Man! 15 seconds to go. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he can... Oh! Oh! And what a round! All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. That last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop it. Yes, because he's always changing up. The first time, it may be a high crotch entry. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position trying to find space for his grounded pound. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh. Nice punch land. Oh! Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 
And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. And he caught the kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Wow! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh! Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Man. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. I mean, how many can he take? I mean, how many can he take? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Good, solid strike on the ground. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Lands the ground and pound strike here. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. Stop, stop, stop. All right, take a seat. Breathe and relax. I need you to suck it up this round, okay? You're missing those takedowns because you're not setting them up. You're going to get countered if you do. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Ready to fight? Ready. Right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Blocks the strike and then counters with a beautifully placed hook. Nice job by Nermago Medov. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Just misses there with the left. Oh, that's a nice strike. 
All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Nurmagomedov. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, lands it. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish this fight. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Moving to his left now. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Good punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, that's a good right hand. Real quick leg kick. Nice counter right hook there. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, big knee! Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice strike landed there by Nurmago Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick 